This lesson is about plotting of decimals on a number line. So let us start. From the given direction, we're just going to plot the following points on a number line. For number 1, point A is on 0 0.2. Well, as you observe, the given is less than 1. Our 1's place is 0. Which means to say that this will be between 0 and 1. As you observe, this 0 0.2 is known as or is properly read as 2 tenths, which means 2 out of 10. And from here, we can divide 0 to 1 into 10 equal parts. And we can label this as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. Well, from here, we can clearly see where 0 0.2 or 2 tenths is. And it's on here, which is our point A. And that's it. Another point B is on 2 point G, which is properly read as 2 and 3 tenths. Since our 1's place is 2, then this is not between 0 and 1. This will be between 2 and 3. So since this is 3 tenths, we will divide 2 and 3 into 10 equal parts. And which means to say that this is 2 .1, 2 .2, 2 .3, 2 .4, 2 .5, 2 .6, 2 .7, 2 .8, 2 .9, and then 3. Well, from here, we can clearly see where 2.3 is. And this will be our point B. Let us try number 3. Point C is on 3.5. Well, this is properly read as 3 and 5 tenths. Which means to say that 3 and 5 tenths is between 3 and 4. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since this is between 3 and 4, we will divide this by 10. From here, this will be 3.1. 3.2, and then 4. Well, from here, we can clearly see where point C is, and that's on 3.5.
which means to say that point C is between 3 and 4. Another, point D is on 4.75, which is properly read as 4 and 75 hundredths. Now, what does it mean? It means that point D is between 4 and 5. So, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. However, this is 75 hundredths. If we're going to divide this into 100 parts, it will take so much time and effort. So, we can write this in fraction. 75 hundredths can be simplified as 3 over 4 because you will divide the numerator and the denominator by 25. Since it's already reduced into lowest form, we can just divide this by 4. And from here, this will be 1 fourth, 4 and 1 fourth, 4 and 2 fourths, 4 and 3 fourths, 4 and 4 fourths are 5. So from here, we can clearly see where point D is, and that is on 4 and 3 fourths. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.